heart designs from graphicextras.com selection of about 230 different heart designs and I'm going to use them to create a wedding card so I'm just going to go into Photoshop just select and now now I want to create a selection just for the the back of the wedding card I'm not actually going to create the entire wedding card but I'm just creating the uh, the front and the back so I'm just creating a quick selection uh, making it 50% of the size using the transform for selection and I'm going to fill it with a color pink or a red color okay yeah that's filled with color now deselect the uh, selection now file place command and now I'm just going to load one of the graphic uh, designs a vector shape so they can be any size of uh, for any file so you can use them for a very small card or for a, a very large card so I'm just going to place the uh, vector design now just transform design you can rotate it distort it in different ways it's a vector design or a smart object in Photoshop so uh, you can play around with it in numerous ways I'm just going to line it up, place it over at the uh, on the front of the wedding card. So and now that's it. Just going to click OK at that point. And flatten the image. So now I've got the front of the design. I'm just going to quickly add some text. Quick wedding card text in white. Now you could use a different font than Georgia. I mean, obviously you could use a, a script or something like that would be much nicer. And you can obviously put whatever you want there for the uh, the wedding card, depending on who's getting married. Click OK at that point. So move the uh, text around. Obviously, it depends on the image. There's 230 images actually in the graphic pack one. And they're all PDF documents, but uh, you can convert them to like PNG or something else using the various conversion tools. Very easy to do. I'm just going to place another design quickly. Designs so are quite large when they come in, but you can resize them quickly. Transform them. Just place that down at the bottom of the uh, the back of the card. Just place it there. And put again. Put some additional text. Put whatever you want. I'm just going to make up something quickly. The wedding Productions Company. No intention if there is a wedding card special publications company around. It's just a quick bit of text. And you can of course add any other uh, additional design. I'm just going to actually bring in another one. I'm going to place another design. I'm just going to quickly show you also you can change the opacity of the uh, design using via the layer palette. So I'm just going to again transform that. Put that at the back. Move it around, design, change your mind, change your mind, resize it. Again, it's a vector shape, so it can be any size you want. It could be very small or very large. Now I'm just going to bring the layer, change the opacity, so make it fade away into the thing, and now I can resize at this point. Again, it doesn't, no damage to the actual design, it's a vector shape, a smart object, so it can be resized as you use Photoshop. So now I'm just flatten that. Now I'll just go to the print. Oh no, I'm just going to do. You can actually change the colour of the design as well if you decide you want a purple card or a pink card. Change the saturation. Click OK. Now print. Print the document. Comes up with print, and there you are. You can see you can print it off. Scale to fit media. Print that off. You can rotate it as well if you wish. Print. Anyway, I hope that's an interest, a quick wedding card. I mean, obviously, you could create thousands and thousands of different wedding card designs.